Welcome back. In this session, we'll go over the startup and shutdown procedures. Go ahead and pull the door shut. Jet turbines tend to be a bit noisy. Before starting up, let's make sure that everything's in the right state. The power lever should be pulled all the way back in the off position. The collective should be all the way down. The parking brake should be on. And the rotor should be unfolded with the switch in the off position. Okay, the area is clear, so let's start by turning on the main battery. This will supply power to all of the aircraft's electrical components. Now turn on the auxiliary power unit, or APU. The engine starters use up a lot of power, so we're going to need the APU to keep the battery charged. Power on the UFD and set it to the status display. This display mirrors what the analog gauges show, but you may prefer to see it here. With the APU spooled up, we can disengage the rotor brake. And fire up the left engine starter. This system will spin up the turbine to a suitable RPM to begin combustion. Running two starters can often overload the power supply, so I'd start one at a time. Watch the engine RPM rise to about 10 or 12 percent, marked by the yellow region. Now we can click the power lever up to idle, and fuel will start feeding the turbine. The starter will run the turbine up to about 30% and then automatically shut itself off. Keep an eye on the starter indicator light. Once it goes out, you can start the other engine. Okay, go ahead and start up the right engine. Great, now both engines are fired up and running stable at idle. You can advance the power lever all the way forward to flight power. Watch the rotor RPM rise. Once it reaches the green region of the gauge, you'll notice that the engines will throttle down a bit to maintain the proper rotor RPM. This helicopter is equipped with a power governor, which means that you don't need to worry about applying the proper throttle to maintain rotor RPM. Just leave the power lever in the flight position and the system handles it for you. Since the engines are now generating power for the electrical system, you can turn the APU off. Now let's turn on each of the displays. At this point, the helicopter is ready to take off. We can practice taking off and hovering in another session, so let's go over the shutdown procedure. First, turn the displays back off.
make sure the collective is pushed down. Then just pull the power lever all the way back to off. This will cut the fuel supply to the engines and they'll start to wind down. After allowing the engines to spool down a bit, we can engage the rotor brake. Now all that's left is to turn off the main battery. And that's it. This concludes the AH-94 startup and shutdown procedures. See you next time.